to Tower Series 7. And then reviewing this, which is the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice uh, Grapple Blast Batman. I'm very excited to be reviewing this. Um, Batman was in packaging when I reviewed this, but the camera died. And I tried several takes of taking this, and they all went wrong, so. So, this time, yeah. That's why the packaging is a bit mixed up. Um, as you can see, we have the name of the figure here, and we have Batman and Superman on this side. We have the Batman v Superman logo, and we kind of like have a little sun-like thing behind the Batman v Superman. It's really cool. I really love this logo, to be honest. On the back, we have an image of what looks like Gotham City and Batman standing on top of the building. We also have the other figures available, Batman v Superman. And we have copyright information, and a really awesome Batman v Superman logo. And it does includes action grapnel. So um, yeah. So to be honest, I was actually very impressed with taking out, but I will um, warn you, the cape it is a bit papery, plastic uh, plastically. And how they have it packaged, if you like were to rip it out of the packaging, um, it could tear the cape, because they have the cape it's a bit tighter than this, it's like, like this. And that could cut the cape, because like I said, it's not like most cloth material that they normally use. It's a bit kind of like plasticky. Um, there's another toy line that they do Superman toys on. It's not like a movie line. It's just like a generic Superman toy line. And they kind of like have a cape material like that. And if you like own one of those, you'll know what I'm talking about. Like, it's not going to break, but if you really do pull on it kind of hard, it could. But to be honest, um, besides that, I really have no complaints with it. I really like the detail. It's really the first Ben Affleck Batman that's really been released to the general public at the moment, so it's really cool. I like the face, to be honest. I really like the bat ears and the look in his face. I think, even though, like, it's kind of hard to tell that's Ben Affleck, like, in the, you know, like, when he's wearing the suit, I think they did a nice job of, like, representing Batman. Man, there to be honest, I really like that look, just like the face sculpt. I also like the bat symbol. I love how now it's like huge. And one of my major problems with the um, Christian Bell or Christopher Nolan series was the bat logo was so small you couldn't even see it. Like now they have finally done what everyone wants. They finally made the bat symbol huge. You can finally see it, and I'm very happy about that. I also love how they've done like, letter material because the new suit is actually like a suit instead of armor. So I'm glad that they tried to make it look like that. You can see some of the little stitches. You can see like it's been stitched together. But you can also see where like the gloves and like some of the mask and the bat symbol itself are letter. Uh, we also have the yellow belt that goes all the way around. And um, it, it looks like it was kind of glued on. I'm not really sure. I will not try pulling on it because it does look a little loose. Um, the legs also have some of the same stitching and the letter kind of like shoes. So, um, you know, I really do like it, to be honest. Uh, the grapple gun is really neat. It's a bit huge, but I think that this is what it's going to look like in the film. We've we've seen multiple versions of the grapple gun so far in the toy line, so it's kind of hard to see which one is most accurate. But I think this is actually pretty, ac uh, pretty accurate. I really do like it. Um, as for articulation, there is a 360 at the head. The arms can go 360 degrees. Uh, they can also go up and down a little bit at the elbow and another 360. Um, there is no torso articulation, but the legs can kick up and slightly a little bit backwards. And there's also been ability at the knee. Um, so far, in, like articulation, it's not really bad. It's not like with Marvel where they're just five pointers now. So I think that's actually pretty good articulation-wise, especially as most action figures these days have went back to five points. Even though it's not like the swing out the shoulders, they still give you multiple like ways to kind of pose the character. And you know that's really good, seeing as you have the grapple gun. So um, you know that's good. I really like that. Um, my final thoughts on this would be that I really like it, and I think that for the price, it's very great. And I would try and hurry pick these one, uh, one of these up. But I really do like it, and I can't wait for Batman v Superman. Thank you, please like and subscribe.